hell Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. One of our own, Emmanuel Amoneke, <laughs> has cried out. He says, CEO, Igbos are in trouble. This is pure wickedness. Emmanuel Amoneke voiced out following the demolition of houses in Lagos. Now, our brother, that is what we are saying. Former Super Ego striker Emmanuel Amuneke has voiced his concern over the recent controversial demolition of properties belonging to Igbos in Lagos, calling for unity and resistance against perceived marginalization. This is not the demolition you used to know, not the ones that have happened before. There's another one happening at Obebi. Listen, Amuneke strongly condemned the demolition which left many Igbos homeless while sparing properties owned by other ethnic groups. Videos circulating on social media depicted buildings on Monkey Village Road in Okwebi being raised overnight on October 9th, 2023. The sadness is too much after getting approval from the same Lagos state government. This is pure wickedness. Igbos are in trouble. Bring your investments back home, my people. We have Abia State, Imo State, Anambra State, Enugu State, Eboy State. In an Instagram post, the ex-football star described the action as evil and humiliating, emphasizing that no ethnic group deserves such treatment in their own country. <laughs> My brother, Nigeria is a company. Amuneke lamented the lack of public outrage and called on Igbos to unite and def in the face of these injustices, urging them not to blame each other. He emphasized that ethnicity should not determine rights in Nigeria and urged Igbo leaders to take decisive action and not abandon their people to suffer. Amunike personally pledged to lead the struggle against marginalization. Wonderful. While his post has received support from many quarters, critics urged that he might be inciting ethnic tension. The Lagos state government has yet to issue a statement regarding the controversial demonition. <laughs> See, our brother is calling. That means he is joining our brother Namdekano and Simon Epa. If I title it Emmanuel Amunike called Simon Epa and then Namdekano join hands together with them, I know I will not be out of place to do that because we are moving. These are our men. Ibumwelim Mado was suddenly hopeless Adima and his likes are trying to confuse you, confuse you because they are barbaric people. These are four one nines in politics. They will distract you and then they will go and sell out, collect money and tell them that they will appease, appease their people, you know, pamper their people because they feel their people are foolish. Well, we are here to shock them that we are getting more forces that will lead this struggle. We are moving. Emmanuel Amuneke has joined the struggle, joining Simon Eba, joining Namdekano to say no to injustice against the Igbos. Why will you accept marginalization when you are still alive? It is better you die struggling for freedom than to die a coward. God himself will be angry with you because he created you complete and whole. He gave you sense, he gave you eyes, he gave you hands to see things that happen around you. He even gave you ears to hear what people say about the Igbos. Yes, and yet you pretend all those virtues, all those things that Chukwu Kikabi and I used to garnish you as human being, as an Igbo person. You want to silence it because you are a coward. <laughs> you cannot die a coward, please. We will not allow you to die a coward. That is why we will not drop our all and so our all answer is there to help us to buy those that want to buy us yes that is why we are also advising our people please get home 
carry your businesses get home get home there are spaces in Aba, Owerri, Enugu, Onisha, Eboin State we have space down there yes get home quick start moving your businesses the likes of um, Innocent Motors are doing very well internationally they are doing very very well ask questions people that have uh, you know place their businesses down there in the southeast they are doing marvelously well yes instead of this double taxation when you buy land in lagos they will destroy it and disown they will they will revoke it and uh, make you to pay again when you still pay again and you build house they will demolish it when you talk they will say hey you are causing ethnic tension when you don't talk they say you are mumu so which way Nigeria, which way Lagos, which way Igbos, we need to stand up and take that which right name belongs to us. Emmanuel Amunike, your statement is well welcome. Anybody that sees evil and call it evil, God already loves you. Even your sins are already forgiven because you are condemning the evil that is meted against your people. So everybody anybody that sees evil and say oh let me shut up so that hope of them will not be angry god has already hated you because you are calling evil good and you are calling good evil so you are already condemned that is why we are condemning what is not good and that is why we are appealing and uh, pleasing to our people to start relocating your businesses stop investment in lagos you can see they have already closed down ladipo they have already closed down um some other areas some other markets even in the hard times in nigeria what do they expect the family man a family man or woman a breadwinner of home that makes money from ladipo and other markets even that managed to build house in lagos you now demolish it or they allow flood to take over your houses because it does not consign them. Lagos State has everything it takes to build and to protect properties in Lagos. But anything they are leave, uh, allowed to be messed is because it's not their own. And probably they have seen it is belonging to the Igbos and other ethnic regions. <laughs> Nigeria is a scam. We keep telling you and you think uh, we are restoring our land. One time ago, on this channel somebody said why do you want to destroy your land why do you people like to destroy your land who would like to destroy his or her land nobody it is only nigeria that is destroying their own country yes we want to build our home we want to have our liberation army standing gidiba standing thoughts for protection when you ask do you have army who will beat our chest i will tell you yes we have army when you ask, do you have resistance force? We will say, yes, we have men that will resist evil of all sorts. And that is what we are saying. You see, when we are saying, support us. Support us. Share and like this channel because I know we know how to give them what they want. The only language the zoo understands is Woto Woto. Woto Woto. That is the only language they understand. And that is it. Thank you and God bless you all.